All right, before we continue on, I wanted to uh, credit Shonen Games for translating the scan. You know, they usually do uh, translations for a lot of other scans and trailers. Uh, I'm going to link their website because obviously, you know, this is their translation and I don't want to intrude. I don't want to seem like I'm taking credit for something that's not mine. Uh, I'm going to link them in the description so you guys can check them out. Uh, now, I'm going to move on to the video and talk about this new scan because it's really interesting. Yo, holy shit, man. So, Sabakane 2 knows... How the fuck to surprise people, man? Uh, so, you know, at first, I was kind of upset that they weren't coming out with any information for the game, right? And, you know, boom, they come out with a few scans that kind of impressed me a little bit. And, you know, then it was the E3 trailer, which blew my fucking mind, right? Like, you know, I saw the gameplay, and I was pleasantly surprised. And now, you know, it's like fucking 6 a.m. now, right? And I saw the chickens uploaded a video on this, bro. And that man was busting all kinds of nuts, man. He was just busting nuts everywhere. The dude just couldn't get like a like 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 a sentence down without fucking up because he was just so hyped. And you know what? I can tell why, man. I mean, look at the fucking bots art first of all, right? I mean, you know, we're gonna go from the least to the greatest, okay? Just look at the bots art real quick, okay? It looks beast. It looks beast. It looks better than any other uh, storm cover that I've seen so far. And then, you know, then we get uh, the costumes for Kakashi, which I wasn't expecting. You know, you guys know I love Kakashi. I mean, Kakashi and stuff. He's going to get a fucking costume. He's going to get the Sitsu Kage costume, which is cool. Sakura from the last and Hinata from the last are going to be costumes, which, you know, it's kind of disappointing because we thought they were going to be extra characters, but now uh, I guess people aren't going to really give a fuck anymore now that, you know, both inside of that gun confirmed. And, you know, I'm actually surprised to see what Sarada, like how Sarada plays out. Not so much Vault, because I kind of know how he's going to play out. Because it's like, he's like a little clone of Naruto, right? You, you guys are going to just see him like that. And then, of course, the most important part of this, uh, Kaguya got confirmed for the game. And, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, okay? I'm going to give you guys a few seconds here. Uh, Kaguya is the final villain uh, of Naruto, okay? So she's basically the final villain you, you'll see in the manga or in the anime, if you guys are anime only viewers. And you know what? Personally, I think that she was already confirmed from the get go when they actually showed the trailer uh, of Naruto and Sasuke's final fight because that happens right after they beat uh, Kaguya. So the fact that she's here uh, is a pleasant surprise. And you know, I'm, I'm looking at the scan right now. Let me just scroll up a little a little bit. Um, you know, you can see kind of like a gameplay screenshot and it looks amazing. It really looks nice, okay? Uh, obviously, it looks like it, it might be part of the actual story mode fight and, you know, not like free battle, but, you know, it, it pretty much confirms it right here in the scan that she's going to be playable. And that's awesome. That's really awesome. I can't wait to see uh, what kind of moves that she gets uh, because, uh, uh, you know, you have uh, Madara and Obito who got the Sage of its Pat's power. And Kaguya is kind of like that, but I guess, in a sense, you know, in the manga, she's a lot stronger than the Sage of its Pat's because of, she's her mom. And then she's like the origin of Chakra itself. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now, let me see, let me see. Uh, the one thing, the one thing I can say that I can take out, out of all of this is that, you know, Storm 4 is going to be like a really big game compared to the other Storm games, right? It's going to have a lot of shit a lot of content is basically going to have a, a longevity uh, bigger than the other Storm games because the amount of content is, is just too much at the moment, right? I mean, they haven't shown a shit ton of stuff, but, you know, the fact that they're showing these characters and they're going out of their way to even add characters like Bolt and Saturday, you know what I'm saying? And characters from the last, they're, they're really trying to make this game uh, be the best Storm game because it's the last one, right? And I really hope they come out with more info on this. You know, maybe some gameplay or something. Uh, so far, I'm really fucking hyped. I'm really expecting Stoneform to be a good game. And uh, you know what? That's all I really got to say, guys. I'm out. Peace.